question. Am I allowed to make fun of the people in charge? Can I mock them? Can I tweet them? Not with violence, but with words. And if you can, it's a free country. If you can't, it's not. So you should be concerned that comedians are under sustained attack in this country, sometimes physically. And we thought it'd be interesting to make a documentary about it, investigating the death of comedy. It's for Fox Nation. Here's part of it. Ladies and gentlemen, make some noise for hip hop history. A local man accused of attacking Dave Chappelle on stage says he was triggered by the comedian's jokes. Netflix employees walking out of the company's Hollywood office. Hollywood's biggest night overshadowed by an onstage slap. Oh, wow. Wow. He's so hot. Oh, oh, yo. Bro. Oh. oh, come on. Dude. Oh. And then one girl goes, we think you're not entitled to be making some of the jokes you're making. Do we want to talk about another comedian? Well, Kevin Hart's job hosting the 91st Academy Awards lasted just two days. That was the most racist joke ever. And we won't tolerate jokes. I don't think we should encourage the most easily upset, the most easily offended. Out your the most hypersensitive people in our culture to establish a cultural norm. This war on jokes must end. I'm not giving a TED talk. My job is to be funny on stage. We don't get angry at the person who's screwing us. We get angry at the person who's pointing out that someone's screwing us. And that's where I come. <laughs> I like to stir the pot, bro. This is what it's like to be you. How do you get through life like this, man? Can't make fun of the people in charge. You're not free. The documentary is called The Death of Comedy. It's out tomorrow on Fox Nation.